Hello everybody and welcome back to another War Thunder related video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with having underscores in the tank names once you do the test localization to yes. If you do not know what I'm talking about, basically it's a bug that appears once you activate, you know, the thing to be able to rename the kill messages. And there might be other solutions to that out there. But not many as I'm aware. So I'm gonna show you a way how you can mostly fix that problem. But be warned, you gotta do most of it manually. I have an idea which I'll might talk about later. But for now, let's just get into the things. And for those who have absolutely no idea, I'm also gonna show how to enable the custom kill messages. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry that I'm probably leaving something out. But there are many tutorials out there that teach you how to do the custom kill messages so yeah in the case it shouldn't work just look somewhere else so before we even start i recommend you to download notepad plus plus and if i don't forget about it i'll leave a link to that in the description and that will basically enable you to edit the necessary stuff you know but to even get to the part where you can edit like custom kill messages so yeah once you have that you should go to your war thunder localization for me i have a special shortcut for that for me it's in steam steam apps common and war thunder and from there you basically want to go down find the config.blk file first you click it then right click it and then you click edit with notepad once you've done that you should get something like this from all up here and basically what you want to do is go down so you find debug, and then you gotta test uh, add if it's not already there the test localization. This line right here, and basically it's gonna be on no first, but you gotta edit it to yes to enable the editing of your desired kill messages. And if you wanna reset everything back to normal, you just make this to no, and it should be all fine again. So yeah, debug this line right here. I may leave it also down below and then you first want to start the game and then close it again because that way it should give you a new folder which is called lang i really hope it still appears even for new players like i don't know if there was any issues with that but basically as soon as you get the lang folder you gotta go to menu and open that with notepad and once you've done that you get all of this funny stuff, and from what you want to uh, what you want to do now is basically just do Control F, and you get this window. And basically, when you what you want to do is now search for the very messages that you were searching for. For example, base destroyed would be like something of base. Ah, uh, you gotta search for it. Exp reasons destroy, and then base destroyed. And what you want to do then is to basically like this part and edit it to whatever you desire just leave the things on the outside as they are if you want to edit it for another language do it for something else here but don't forget there is for some reason the same text here a second time so make sure you edit both of it that way it should do the trick all right, the next thing we want to do is to address the problem and I'll show you it in game. And oh, before you do anything else, make sure to click control S to save, because if you don't save, you don't get shit. Ooh. And what you notice is if you go to any nation and basically take a look at any new vehicles they added. So for example, here you have like weird group names and you have stuff like the germ flarakrat yeah funny stuff and yeah it just kind of bothers me at least because it it just looks ugly and i've seen that some youtubers just have like custom kill messages but don't edit that stuff because they don't really bother but i really bother it, it's just ah, ugly i don't like it so yeah I kind of looked around in the files of War Thunder and I think I found a way how to at least edit the basic name. Oh my god. Again? 
Man, how much time has passed and the tanks still get stuck? No. Not you two. Oh my god. Yeah, never mind. So, yeah, you basically have a, a bunch of tanks that have weird long names. It looks ugly and... Oh shit, now they're shoot. And basically, I found a way how you can fix most of it. What do I mean? Well, the names that are being displayed are corrected and so should they also be in matches. But once you hold your mouse over it and basically get this title card, you still get like bugged names of the weapons and bugged names in the title card that for some reason doesn't change it and I haven't figured out yet why that's the case. And also in options, you get some bugged stuff like the benchmark that is new, it's also bugged out. But what I recommend if when you want to change the certain settings, I recommend you simply just switch back in the localization files switch it back to no and do what you need to do set it back to yes and then have fun because the reason why you're all doing this is just for the custom kill messages so it shouldn't be a big problem to switch back or anything this really is just a feature that is being done just for simple fun and i already fixed stuff for the ground ussr tree as you can see the tour ms it was broken i changed it back and you see here the title card is broken for some reason. Doesn't make sense, I don't know why, but it doesn't bother me because it's fixed on the outside. And it's also fixed in matches, so it is displayed correctly. But if you want all that stuff to still be correct, either search for other solutions, I think they're like a name, rename mod or something like that, but I didn't want to get into modding because like shit, I don't want to do any anything risky or complicated, I just, you know, I just want to have fun and don't have too many ugly changes applied to my game. Or you just don't bother in the first place and leave things as they are. And I noticed I have made a mistake and I'll show you later why that's like this. We need to first exit the game, then go back into your localization files of War Thunder and go to the Lang folder. From here, you want to go to Units. You see it's one of the biggest files in this folder. And then once again, click and then right click to edit it with Notepad. And you'll basically get something like this, starting from up here. And that's a lot of shit and it's very complicated. But one of the things you should note is the the way I edit it. It sets for English language only. Because here above it shows the author of the languages. So first you get English, then you get French, then you get Italian. Basically what you get in these uh, upper spikes is basically the names of the vehicles. So here above is the order and if you want to change it for a different language I'd say that you need to copy everything that is before that to get to your language and then edit it but from here you see you got the basic thing or whatever and then the first language is English so if you edit this for English you you, de you don't need to copy much if you go down basically what you want to do is to go all the way down and here you can see like the part where I edited the things myself and all I did is basically look how the names were structured and kind of did the changes myself. So let's talk about every part. So first you have these upper specs again. It's always necessary. I don't know what they do. I'm not a, I don't, not a programmer, but you know, just figure out things out by myself. So you have first this part and Basically, it is the name that is given you in the game itself. So basically, it's basically the ugly name you get. And once it's done, so I can show you the basic structure you need. It would be something like this. So with all the names, you would get... This is the basic structure you need. So basically here is going to be the ugly name. Oh god. And here is going to be the actual name, that normal name that should be displayed. So, I'll also copy that in the description below so you can just copy it. But for broken group names, 
you need to do something different, and that's this line of code. And you just basically slap all that shit just below everything. It should work normally. And here you should get something like this also. Also going to put it down below. Basically here again, ugly name, normal name. And as we saw before, there was a bug on a certain vehicle. It was the USSR here. Yeah, exactly. The T28, 1938 version. And basically, once you put in the name, you don't need to put an underscore anymore in it. You just write in these upper spikes what should really be displayed. So it also just normally accepts uh, space. So yeah, and for, don't forget to save once you're done. But that's for ground vehicles. For helicopters, you don't even need to write the USSR part. I didn't look into planes, but planes should be something similar. As someone who has a second monitor, it is obviously easier to edit it. But what I recommend you to do is to go into War Thunder settings. So if you have a second monitor, basically what you want to do is click on options, graphics, and change the mode to full screen window. You can just move your mouse out to the other monitor without bothering that it will go away. So basically you can like, let's go to Germany and like we wanted to correct the Flarakrat. I know it's that Flarakrat or whatever the hell it is and change it. And basically on the second monitor, what you want to do is to, for the one thing, open Notepad to write all that stuff down, put it to the one side so that it takes up half of the screen. And on the other side, you want to go to the Wath on the wiki page. From there, you then go to ground vehicles or whatever the hell you want to add it and to the desired nation. From there, you basically put out the layout like this. So you have like left side or however you want to do it. Just it's all closed by itself. And then write the ugly names. So what we have here, gem flarakrat, and then type it here. I'm just going to make a space for to signify that it's a different nation. Copy like the something else I had. And then we want to change this part to what we have there. And it's Gerum and the name, how it's given in game. And then shop because shop because it's apparently they called a normal tech tree shop. Interesting. It says a lot about Gaijin. And then change it to the actual name. And if you're not sure, as said, open your beautiful what in the wiki window. And just click in there and then you see it's has Fla Rakrat because of its name, but it's actually called Flugabwehr Raketensystem Roland of Radkraftfahrzeug. So yeah, if you are a really funny German kind of guy, you can just take all of that shit and slap it in here for the funny. Then you click save and then you gotta restart the game. And obviously I shouldn't probably be saying this, but if you have one monitor, you kind of got to deal with it. All right, let's see if it worked. Oh my God, guys. It didn't work. Just kidding. It worked, but the small window just couldn't take it. It should theoretically go from left to right. Ah, yeah, there we go. The Flu Flugabwehr Raketensystem Roland of Kraftfahrzeug. See, it, 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 it's giving it best, but the speed just ain't enough. Yeah, that's a certified German moment. So yeah, but it works. Just make sure that you write everything correctly so it works. Because one more thing and it just couldn't work or you just have like a grammatical error in your get them name or whatever the hell. So yeah, just make sure that you have it correctly and that in the name itself, the second part, you have just normal space and no underscore. So that way everything should work. So I just took a quick look into it. And as I understand you do, for planes, you just straight up write in the name without the German part or whatever nation part you have. And yeah, you just type it in. And for naval, if I'm not wrong, you still got to put in the nation name back in there. Hope it helps you to a certain degree and makes looking at your screen more enjoyable and not having to witness ugly names at least not immediately.
because that way I can actually now do proper videos if I wanted to and just play regularly without seeing ugly underscore names. So yeah, a big minus of this is that you have to do it manually and I'm not sure but I kind of had the thought to like do all that shit myself and kind of put it out there so people could download it but I don't know if I would have that dedication to do so but I don't know. Tell me in the comments how you feel about it and yeah I hope this helps you to satisfy yourself and yeah hope you have a nice rest of today and i'll see you in a different video goodbye